Hi, so today we're going to be installing our running boards. We went with a pretty cost-effective model, the iBoard, which is this one. And we'll put a link to uh, the description and where to buy it on Amazon. And so we're going to do an install of that today and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and read these instructions here and she's going to go ahead and just wing it. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is find these holes under the passenger side. Uh, this is where our support brackets are going to be um, placed. The first one is basically right behind the front passenger wheel. And it's got a rubber piece in it. I've taken it out of that one. But that's basically what it looks like. You just can take it off of there if you pry it off. And so... Once you've found that, you're going to take one of these retainer bolts and they provide these tiny little plastic washers and you're going to basically put one on there and you're going to put this into here and it's going to retain itself with the plastic washer. So basically that looks like this. Put that in there and then it's going to hang out like that for just a, a little bit while we go through the installation process. Basically this plastic thing is to help it not fall into the hole back here and then you're screwed. So that's what that is. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do that um, on all these and start putting the brackets together. So let's move on to that step. All right, so next step is to identify your bracket. They are unique by position. So. This one's labeled PFM, that's passenger front mounting bracket. The other ones are, for the passenger, they'll say PRM or PCM, stuff like that. But you want to make sure you got the right one, so you're putting it in the right place. And then you're basically going to attach it with these 10 millimeter nut, lock washer, and flat washer. So that's what we're going to do next. So basically, we're just going to put this dog up on here and we'll end up attaching it with the bolts. So I'll do that now and then we'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, we've put that mounting bracket on. Just hand tighten the nut and the lock washers and stuff onto here for now. And basically repeat this process with all four mounting brackets for the passenger side. And then we'll come into the next step. So we'll show you that next. All right, so now you've got these support brackets. You're gonna line them up to the mounting bracket and you're basically going to install them with these hex bolts and a couple washers and stuff. The support bracket has these holes at the top and it's gonna line up with this pinch weld right here at the end of your van, at the bottom of your van. And so when you line it up, that'll be flush up against that piece. So let's do that. All right, so I've just hand tightened those bolts and now you can see that this support bracket is up against this pinch weld right here. And so on the other side, the holes will line up against this other side. So I'll have Michelle show that. Other way. Other way. So you want these holes up against here so you can mark and drill out your screws in a further step. We'll show that in a minute, but so far that's basically, you know, your first, first bracket installed and you're basically going to do that a couple times over down the length of the passenger side in order to get started. All right, so next thing you wanna do now that you've got your four brackets in and you've secured it on the back side, and you've got these support brackets that are up against this part of the van. And so what you wanna do is drill into this what they call the pinch weld on the bottom of the van. 
you're going to drill into here so that you can then put in some uh, bolts to hold this secure to the side of the van. So we've already drilled one hole, we're going to drill another, and we're going to just keep going through each one to secure these brackets. All right, so now we've got holes in each of the support brackets that you can see there. And then we're going to attach them. Michelle has laid out all of the nuts fantastically. Look at all those nuts. <laughs> so, uh, so now we're just going to attach one of these in through each hole and then the washers, the lock, and the hex on the back side. Um, on the other end. So let's put those together and then we'll see where we're at. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do now that we've gotten the bracket secured, so we've taken the running board and we flipped it over. So this is the opposite side, this is the bottom side. And there's these tracks on the bottom side. And you want to get these T bolts in to the tracks. And you do that, you can see little holes back there. Hold on, let me get it. Yep. So you just slip them into the little hole there and then you just slide it to where the bracket is. You can see the bracket there. And you just want to align them just like we've done here and just like we've done here. So you're going to do that at each position and then you'll flip the board back over and install these into the mounts. So we'll do that next. All right, so now we've flipped the running board over onto its right side. And you can see that the bolts that were in the channel now slide into these holes here. So now we're gonna secure those all the way down the running board and then we should be done with this side. All right, so like we said, now you're just tightening down, show it back down there. Tightening down the screws to the mounting plate, through the mounting plate to the running board. So we're gonna do that on the back end, we're gonna do that on the front end, and then we're gonna do that in the middle as well. Okay, so now we've got everything tightened down. You can see the finished product there. Looks good. You can step on it. You can hold hold our weight. So, yeah, looks good. Time to move on to the driver's side. So now we're on the driver's side, and there's only two mounts on this side. So these are also marked. This is a driver um, front mount or driver rear mount, and these are both the same. So there's one, and there's the other. So you can, they're interchangeable, you can use either one on this side. So again, on the driver's side, there's only two. So we found the rubber holes, we put in our spacers and our nuts, we've put up our mount, and then we've also put in the bracket that goes up against the pinch weld. So now that we've done those three steps, we've just hand tightened everything at this point. So now that we've done those three steps, we're going to drill out our holes through the pinch weld. And then we'll be set for the next step. So just as we did on the passenger side, it was really simple. After we got the mounting brackets in, we just took the board, flipped it over, put in the T bolts into the track that's under there, and then we flipped it back over and then installed them right into there. And so it's just two mounts, so really easy to do. And so now that that's done, the driver's side running board is complete.